Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hey. So, hey. Hello. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. Hi and welcome back to my channel and my mini series. Firstly I want to say a massive thank you for all of the feedback I had on my, my original video. It was really appreciated and I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Hello! So on to today's video. Um, I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit here because I wanted to be doing the sort of video editing part a bit later on in the series but I wanted to give you this really quick tip before I eventually get on to the sort of editing part in the series. So today I want to show you a really quick tip but it's a really effective way of massively improving your videos. You could start implementing this on your videos right now and it's not something you need to go out and buy or it's not an additional piece of software, it's something that you can do in whatever whatever editing software you use right now. So today's topic is all about jump cuts and this is probably the easiest transition to do but it will make the most difference to your videos. So whenever I watch a video online I tend to get bored if the clip lasts longer than around 5 seconds. By adding in jump cuts you can fast forward to different parts of the scene which will mix up your videos a little bit and it will make it way more interesting to the person watching your video. The other really important part to using jump cuts, which is what I do in all of my videos, is I always use jump cuts on the beats of music. Adding jump cuts on the beats will make your videos flow much better and it will make it visually more appealing. I wanna show you a video I put together last year showing Hannah's blog transformation from Mummy and the Beasties over to what Hannah did next. I'll show you the video twice and in the first video it's how I see a lot of other parent videos and how they're edited on YouTube. second video it's how I edited my video which includes all of the jump cuts in time to the music and I'm sure you'll be able to see the big difference between the two. Now that you've seen the differences between the two videos, I want to show you how to, to actually add in the jump cuts. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects, Premiere Pro and iMovie. Okay, so first off I'll show you how to do the jump cuts in After Effects. So once you've got your project set up and you've got all your clips in and your audio in, what I like to do is just open up my waveform here so I can see where the beats are. So then what I like to do is just to start playing it and listen out for the beats. And then I'll decide where to add the cuts in. All right, so there's the first one right there. So what you do is select your clip, press Command Shift D and it will split the clip. So what we can do here is I'll bring another clip in so that it jumps to that one and then I'll look for the next beat. All right, so there's the next beat and then Command Shift D and then I'll bring the original clip back so that it cuts back but I'll scrub through a little bit just so that it's not the same clip. There we go. So there's our jump cut. So that's how to do it in After Effects. Next we'll go to Premiere Pro. It's the same thing again. You've got your clips in, you've got your audio in. Mine's already on my timeline. So what you need to do is select the razor tool, 
which short key is C. So there was the first beat. So then you just select where you want to cut it on the timeline, click, and then that's split. Then if you go back to your selection tool, then you can just move that around, bring the other one back in like we did in After Effects. See how that looks. So again, select the razor tool, cut it, and then the selection tool move that one out of the way, bring that one back in, and then we've done the jump cut. So that's how to do the jump cut in Premiere Pro. And then lastly, we'll show you how to do it in iMovie. So again, scrub through. And then what you need to do is to right click or control click select split clip and then it will split the clip down so then what we need to do is bring that other one back in and then what we do control click split clip and then bring the other one back and then play it through So that's how you do jump cuts in After Effects, Premiere Pro and iMovie. Now it doesn't matter whether I shoot my videos on a GoPro, Compact, DSLR, on my phone. I will always use jump cuts in every video that I do. And every single cut is done in time to the music. So now hopefully you, you get the idea of what jump cuts are about and how they can improve your videos. So hopefully you can start now implementing this in your videos and you will notice a big improvement. Remember, this is a series for families by a family. So if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. So now hopefully you can start using this and improve your videos. So normal service shall resume next time. And in the next video, I'll be showing you what's in my GoPro bag, the accessories that I use and what accessories I use to help me achieve the really stable footage. So I hope you'll join me on the next one. Bye. Deep, deep down, far, far in is simply the fabric and structure of existence itself.